Imagine a world where you could turn your passion into profit. No middlemen, no gatekeepers. Just you and a legion of fans willing to pay for your content. That was a dream that OnlyFans sold to creators. A dream of financial freedom and unbridled creative control. But what happens when that dream turns into a nightmare? OnlyFans was more than just another social media platform. It was a financial lifeline for creators from all walks of life. Here, you could be your own boss, set your own prices, and engage with fans on your own term. But when Bella Thorne decided she wanted to make a few extra bucks and entered the scene, the entire landscape shifted. Her involvement led to a series of changes at OnlyFans that had a domino effect, impacting not just her, but every single creator on the platform. And the result? A community that was left to deal with reduced earnings and a future suddenly filled with doubt. OnlyFans didn't just pop out of nowhere. It exploded onto the scene and immediately became a household name. For the first time, adult entertainers had a space where they could not only share their content freely, but also monetize it directly. The impact in the adult industry was huge. The days of having to only rely on studios and agencies that took a massive cut of their earnings were gone. OnlyFans allows me to be my own director, producer, booker, everything. On OnlyFans, creators were able to take home up to 80% of their revenue, a game-changing shift that altered the balance of power and put control back into the hands of the individual. But the ripple effect of OnlyFans' rise went way past just the numbers. The platform became a place where adult performers, who were often stigmatized, found a place where they could take control of their public image and directly connect with a supportive fan base. The platform also broke down barriers to entry into the industry by letting newcomers carve out their own niche without the need for industry connections or large-scale promotions. But this golden era came with its own challenges. As the platform grew, so did its visibility to the mainstream public. And it not only attracted a broader range of creators, but now, celebrities were also starting to see its potential and get into the mix. Now why are you tipping this rich man? I think I'm gonna start an OnlyFans. Please do it, Lonnie Love. Michael B. Jordan's mustache. His name is Murphy. Got an OnlyFans coming is soon. That a, is that an OnlyFans account? Oh, so and it not? was this influx of high-profile names that set the stage for one of the most controversial moments in OnlyFans history. Enter Bella Thorne, a former Disney star turned actress and social media influencer. Ain't stopping. When she announced her decision to join OnlyFans in August 2020, the internet went wild. Bella Thorne. Bella Thorne. Bella Thorne swooped in. Probably the most infamous celebrity to join OnlyFans. You either love me or you hate me. It's no in between. Here was a mainstream celebrity with tens of millions of followers across different platforms stepping into a space dominated by adult entertainers and independent creators. Headlines screamed that Thorne was about to break the internet. The buzz wasn't just hype, it translated into cold hard cash. In just 24 hours of joining OnlyFans, Bella Thorne raked in over $1 million, shattering all previous records on the platform. By the end of her first week, that number had more than doubled. These were earnings that most creators on OnlyFans wouldn't be able to earn for months or even years. And it all happened in the blink of an eye. For Bella Thorne, it was a big financial win. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have an announcement. For OnlyFans, it was a publicity goldmine. But for the existing community of creators, it was a moment that was about to change their livelihoods. The controversy erupted over a $200 pay-per-view post that Bella had marketed to her fans. The post had made it seem like she had a special surprise for her fans, which led many to believe they were buying exclusive, explicit content. But when fans opened their digital envelopes, they found that the content was not what they thought they were going to get. The disappointment was immediate and the backlash was fierce. Feeling like they had been lied to and taken advantage of, a flood of subscribers demanded refunds, which ended up creating a logistical nightmare for OnlyFans. The platform was suddenly faced with a situation it had never encountered on this scale. A mass refund request that threatened to disrupt its payment systems and tarnish its reputation. This wasn't just a problem for Bella Thorne, this was a crisis for OnlyFans. 
One creator tweeted, Bella Thorne fucked over so many sex workers. I am so sick of celebrities. The entire tipping system just changed and got a huge price cap because she scammed thousands of people. Absolutely ridiculous. The sentiment was unanimous. Creators felt that they were paying the price for Bella Thorne's actions. The outcry wasn't just limited to individual creators. Even industry experts weighed in. OnlyFans needs to find a way to resolve issues without undermining the trust and financial stability of its creator community. The policy changes were a gut punch to the community that came to rely on OnlyFans as a stable source of income and creative expression. As the dust started to settle on the immediate uproar, Creators were left to navigate a new, more restrictive landscape on OnlyFans. The long-term effects of these changes were not just numbers on a the screen. There were real-life consequences for creators who built their livelihoods around the platform. For some, the reduced tip and pay-per-view caps meant scaling back on ambitious projects or even laying off team members they had hired to expand their content. For others, the extended payout schedule meant delayed bills, added stress, and financial instability. Many creators had to look for new ways to diversify their income streams, either seeking alternative platforms or going back to traditional methods of monetization. This exodus was not just a logistical move, it was a symbolic one. Creators were voting with their feet, signaling a loss of faith in a platform that had once been their financial haven. The dream of turning passion into sustainable profit on OnlyFans was now just that, only a dream. But Probably the most insidious impact of the Bella Thorne controversy and the ensuing policy changes was the erosion of trust between OnlyFans and its creator community. Trust is the cornerstone of any community, and once broken, it's difficult to rebuild. Creators were starting to question the platform's commitment to its original mission, empowering creators to monetize their content freely. Conversations shifted from the excitement of limitless possibilities to cautionary tales and what-ifs. Online forums and social media groups dedicated to OnlyFans creators became hotbeds of skepticism and worry. Questions like, what's the next policy change going to be? Or, can we even trust OnlyFans anymore? Became commonplace. The platform that was once a disruptor was now being labeled as a potential gatekeeper, making limitations rather than lifting them. In essence, the Bella Thorne incident served as a catalyst that brought latent concerns to the surface. It exposed vulnerabilities in a platform that many had come to rely on, not just for income, but for creative freedom. The incident served as a wake-up call, prompting creators to reconsider their relationship with the platform and question whether OnlyFans could still be a reliable partner in their creative journeys for the foreseeable future. In the end, Bella Thorne's foray into the world of OnlyFans was more than just a celebrity headline. It was a big event that shattered the platform's foundational promise to its creators. What was once a place for creative freedom and financial independence became just another story of how quickly things can change. The policy changes, born out of one celebrity's selfish actions, have left a mark on a community that had invested not just their content, but their trust into OnlyFans. And trust? once broken is a difficult thing to mend. As creators look towards an uncertain future, one question lingers. Can that broken trust ever truly be repaired? Or is the original dream of OnlyFans now just that, a dream?